What's happening, YouTube comrades? Art here in the garage, working on skateboards. Same old. Today's topic, we are working on replacing this agent deck. It's got some wear and tear on it. This crack, I'm not liking it. With another newer deck, this is actually an identical deck, but the objective here is to cover it head to toe in carbon fiber using a vacuum technique. So let's get to it. Next order of business, I'm gonna give this thing a sand and get it ready for carbon fiber to make the top layer wrap around the corners a little bit easier. I'm gonna shave off this sharp edge so that carbon fiber has an easier time wrapping around the deck. Got the carbon fiber piece cut out to size to fit the top surface of the deck. And this is the separation cloth. Now I'm gonna prep the vacuum chamber and get everything set up.
is ready for a hot coat and we're gonna do a hot coat on this side. I taped up this side, the top side of the deck, so that when you do a hot coat, the epoxy is gonna to want to try to run and sometimes droplets form on this side and it becomes a pain in the, whatever you want the pain to be in to get the stuff off. So this saves you some time. It's time for a second coat. Why do you need a second coat? Well, the first coat goes on really thin and there's lots of bubbles and uh, not, not complete coverage of carbon fiber. So the second coat takes care of all of the imperfections. second hot coat finished on the bottom side of the deck. I decided that this needs a third coat, the bottom of the deck. So let's put another coat on this thing. Now I have three layers of epoxy on the bottom side of this carbon fiber deck project and time to switch it to the top side. We're also gonna do three layers on top side. I'm gonna start by removing this line of tape. Um, use a razor blade to cut the edge so it peels off easy. Prep it with a light sanding and tape off this side. will be make it look nice and glossy means we're gonna send it down start about 150 60 grid sandpaper and probably end at 2000 grid try to make it nice and seamless let's see how it turns out
finished up rock sanding with 150 grit and got everything leveled out. Now we're gonna move on to 360 grit with wet sanding. Just did a sanding with 320 by hand. I was gonna use a orbital, but by hand worked out fine. And it's looking pretty smooth. I'm gonna step it down to 1500 grit. And it's not ideal step down from 300 to 1500, but I don't have anything in between. And I feel like leaving to go to the store. So I'll just give it an extra sand time with 1500. Let's see how it turns out. So we're done the 320 grid, 1500 grid, now 2000 grid to give it nice smooth finish before polishing. Time for polishing. So I'm gonna use this polishing compound, light to medium cleaner, turtle wax. There's a wet spinning sponge disc and this the drill. I'll give it a light polishing top and bottom and it will be ready for wax.